Hello people, right, different video. We're actually gonna sort of big the TV up a little bit. Um, things that I like about the sky glass. Now, first thing, a lot of people probably won't agree with me, um, is the image quality of the telly. Now, let me just get the remote control. Um, do I need it? Yeah, I'll get it anyway. So, when you get the sky glass, it will be set up into like it's eco mode because it has to ship with the most economical settings for a TV because then if someone just bangs it on, they don't have to set it up. It's already as economical as it can be for drawing power. Um, so what I did, sorry, got to look at the screen. Uh, <laughs> settings. Picture and sound. Uh, uh, picture and then you just muck about with these now that's one of the main things to turn off you are going to be using a bit more power obviously um, the auto backlight adjustment turn it off whack the backlight up as much as your eyes can stand I've got it at 80 otherwise it's a bit too bright when you go beyond that but it makes a picture a lot better and muck about with all the other settings to get it how you like it obviously you've got different all your contrast sharpness which turns sharpness down because you don't want digital digital sharpness on you just want sharpness that the tv is native to produce and then you'll get a lovely picture um, if it's too sharp you're going to get blocking you're going to get all sorts of things um, especially in gaming so let's get that back out of there so once you set it up it will look fantastic I've got no problems with it. Gaming, absolutely fantastic. Um, films, you can pop it into different film modes if you want to when you're uh, watching films, but I watch it how the TV is. I can see all the blacks, all the whites, um, all the HDR effect, all the rubbish. It's all, it's all good. Nothing wrong with it at all. You know, you'll get people saying, oh no, it's not this, it's not that. Yeah, it is. At the end of the day, all the panels are made by two people i think i can't even remember samsung and i can't remember who the other people are now panasonic used to um and sort of that's about it really and they all sort of uh, samsung sell the panels it's like an iphone samsung make the screen on an iphone um and then apple add their own technology with the software in the back to do different things on the screen it's just how the world is same thing with tvs so that's absolutely you know i have no problem with the uh with the picture on this bad boy um, and the sound. Now, I know I use a sound bar, but you won't get a, a TV with better sound than what this TV has in its built-in speakers. Um, it's been designed so it's got the best sort of surround sound system as you just stick it on the wall or stick it on your um, TV unit out of the box without a sound bar it sounds bloody good but it does sound better once you've got it on the wall because obviously the bottom speakers which are down here either side oh if it's not on the wall it's going to be shooting onto your um well i've got a massive tv unit and it it's it's pretty heavy duty and that was bending with the weight of this which is pretty you know uh, get it on the wall best place you can have it best place for the sound um, now it's a little bit controversial but I do like this remote control even though it won't control my soundbar which I find really really annoying because Skystream does and it doesn't on this oh please just allow that do something please Skyglass because there's no reason why this can't do that I have a little option in there saying that I want to use it external system because at the moment i've got the bluetooth issue back again it won't connect to bluetooth no matter what i do and i'm not mucking about with it it's staying in arc i've got my other remote control to the soundbar just down there so yeah um the way reason i like this is because it's not it doesn't use the ir i'm not really sure what that is for because look i can control the tv with my hand covering the ir so it's like a um fire cube remote where it's using either wireless or uh, bluetooth and now the cat's going to attack the lights i think she's been a bit of a pain at the moment so oh, no she's going to attack my jumper i don't know what she thinks she's doing but 
She's on a cat tree at the moment, which she fell out of the other day, which was quite funny because I had to go and rescue her. Anyway, Bluetooth remote or Wi-Fi, Bluetooth connected remote. Yeah, it's I, I like that because I don't have to point it at the telly because that's bloody annoying. But I don't mind if the IR works with my soundbar and I have to point it at that. That's not a problem. Sort that out. Get that out, Skyglass. Um, other things that I like with the telly. I like the minimalistic look of this TV. It's got a very, very, very small bezel. And inside that bezel, you do have where the screen, I need to clean my screen by the looks of it, um, where this, it's got a little black edge around there. It's nothing much, but very thin, very sexy, very nice. Um, and the colors they do it in. Um, I chose the white because, I don't know, I didn't want a black one. I just wanted a, poof, poof, poof. I used to like the uh, white Samsung TVs, even though a lot of those sort of broke. Um, but th I think the, the little white frame around there, if I had a black wall, which I might end up doing at some point, that little white frame around there, I think will set that TV off really, really, really well. Um, and another thing that I really like, there's no logos. Sky being Sky, you'd have thought they would have slapped Sky all over it. <laughs> you know, right across the soundbar or something stupid like that. The soundbar, you know, the TV soundbar, that bit. But they don't. There's no logos on it at all on there. It's very, it's unbranded, completely unbranded. That's fantastic. I love that. Because um, I don't need big brands showing their, you know, their name off here, there and bloody everywhere. I don't, I don't need that. That looks plain, good and very sexy. Um... And the final thing is the screen. It's pretty easy to clean, um, and it's a it's a satin screen. It's not gloss or matte. It's just in between. So you do still get reflections, but not as bad as you get off a gloss TV. And with matte TVs, you, <laughs> when you get sort of sunlight on them, you end up losing a lot of your picture quality because it's sort of uh, it goes matte and in between is a nice sort of compromise i don't mind it at all i think it looks great uh, when the tv's off it's not shiny it's just a black um square on the wall which looks lovely to me and it's not overly reflective obviously you can see a few reflections in here because of the light sources that i'm using which are pretty pretty powerful but you know it's like having the sun in my lounge but not quite but anyway that is everything everything I like about the sky glass I'm sure there are other things but I can always do that in another video or if there's anything that you like and would like to recommend with the um, sky glass put them in the comments below we all like to have a little bit of a chat on the uh, on the comments it's a bit of a laugh sometimes isn't it <laughs> anyway like and subscribe thank you very much for watching